coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Well, temperatures today topped out in the upper 50s, if not right around 60, so pretty nice to finish up the weekend. And some spots are dipping into the 40s, but many still holding on to the 50s. It's 54 right now in Olney, 53 in Casey and Sullivan, 49 here in Terre Haute, Paris, and in Rockville, and it's 51 down in Lagodi. As you look at the wind, it's trying to settle up just a little bit for us now that the sun has set, but we'll still keep a breeze going through the night. It, has, it is out of the south. That's going to allow some more warm air to stay with us, so tomorrow's going to be an even warmer day than it was today. Now, as you look at the Storm Team 10 storm tracker, we still have a clear sky in place locally, but you notice down below me, we do have some rain showers working through parts of Arkansas, and this system's mostly going to stay to our south, but what it's going to do is bring an increase in moisture as that cloud cover comes in, so we could see some rain showers as we get into the early morning hours and into the first part of Monday. But again, right now, clean sweeps on the Storm Team 10 storm tracker, so we're not detecting anything for the immediate future. But as we look at future cast, you will notice that cloud cover does build in once we get past midnight and eventually we see some rain showers developing, especially if you're in the southern part of the Wabash Valley. That's where there's a little bit of a better chance to see some of these showers and these could linger into the morning commute. So don't be surprised you're still dealing with some rain as you head out the door tomorrow morning. As we get into the afternoon, we can't rule out a few more of these showers, but I think they'll become fewer and far between. We will catch some dry time going into tomorrow afternoon. Maybe a few breaks in the clouds, so we'll go with a partly sunny sky on Monday, and temperatures are going to climb into the upper 60s, so it's still going to be mild. Now, as we get into Monday night, we're still going to keep the chance for some more scattered showers and maybe a few rumbles of thunder as we go into early Tuesday morning. You can see more of this activity as we get into the first part of Tuesday. Now, on the day Tuesday, we have a mix of sun and clouds, and as we get into the evening, you notice off to our west, we're seeing some showers and thunderstorms try to develop to our west. We're going to be even warmer on Tuesday with temperatures in the upper 70s. And with this wind out of the south, it's going to continue to pump in some warm, moist air. And that is a recipe for potentially more strong to severe thunderstorms. The Storm Prediction Center does have most of the Wabash Valley in a slight risk for those strong storms. That is level 2 out of 5. Right now, the greater threat for some of those stronger thunderstorms is out across western and central Illinois. So we're going to keep a close eye on this system as it comes through. But do be alert Tuesday evening going into Tuesday night. We may have to deal with more thunderstorms here in the Wabash Valley. Before tonight, no storms, just some scattered showers developing after midnight. Lows drop into the upper 40s, so not as cold thanks to that southerly breeze and the clouds coming in. Then tomorrow, 68 degrees, partly sunny with some isolated showers primarily in the morning. Still have that breeze out of the south. Tomorrow night, only dropping down to 56 with more clouds and scattered showers and maybe a few rumbles of thunder. And then we look at the seven day forecast up to 78 for the high on Tuesday. That'll provide that fuel for those showers and thunderstorms that could linger into the first part of Wednesday. Then a cold front drops us down to 38 Wednesday night. The rest of the week not looking too bad, a little cooler, but right now Easter weekend looking pretty good.